everyone, I'm Arti Devesher. Welcome to my studio. Today I'm sharing the contents of my art cart. This is it right here. It is a little three-tier trolley in which I keep all the art materials that I deem necessary for my everyday work. Some of you may already have spotted it in my studio vlogs because this is what is right next to me every time I'm sketchbooking or painting a commission or doing anything else that involves actual physical painting. The advantage of having everything in this trolley means that whether I'm working here in my studio or in my living room or at the dining table or out in the garden for that matter, I can just wheel it wherever I want to go. It is also foldable so if I take out all the art materials I can slot it in neatly wherever I need to. I'm also, while I show you the art materials in my cart, going to highlight the five essentials that I use no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm sketchbooking, painting, drawing or whatever. They are my five favourite art materials to use. So without further ado, let's get started. So here's my sketchbook and I'm just going to go and get my cart from over there. Just wheel it across, give it a little hitch over the carpet and there you go. So up here I have all the tools that I use all the time and then under here, let me take you with me. Under here is my gouache palette, conveniently stored. So I'm gonna take that and put it up on the table. And I'm gonna take my sponge and put that up on the table as well. Any extra gouache that I need is right over here. I've got a bunch of stuff which I will take you through in a minute. And my everyday stuff is right on top. So the only things that actually go on my table are my sketchbook, my gouache palette, and my sponge, like so. So here's my sketchbook. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. <laughs> that always pops up. There's my gouache palette, and it's a little bit dry, so my handy dandy little spray bottle thing. Do a quick spray, so it's wet. Spray bottle goes neatly back in that spot. This gets closed for a little bit, and I'll put that back on in a minute and the sponge goes there and in about five minutes I will be ready to sketchbook. In the meantime I'm going to show you everything that's in this cart. This is the trolley in which I keep my art materials. As I said it is my art cart. Imagine the air quotes. There are just three shelves and as you can see it is foldable so this thing folds up everything goes flat and you can store it really really easily. Now, I don't have very much in the bottom two slots because I never really reach down here to get anything. It's just mostly a holding zone for random stuff. So what I've got here is the little pieces that I painted um, in my sculpt video. I've actually just collected them from around the house because I forgot that I, <laughs> I didn't do a protective coat on the back. So I actually need to do that sometime this week or next week. And on some of them, I actually need to redo the entire coat because they did bubble up. I don't know if you watched that video so I will link it for you somewhere up here in the corners wherever that little eye icon is. That's there, all of those pieces. And then next to it I have an empty water thing. It just says, uh, it's pretty dirty from all the years of use, it says I am not weird, I am limited edition, which is extremely true <laughs> of all of us creative people I suppose. In the other side, it is just the handles that came with this cart. I didn't know what to do with them and they're kind of plasticky and I never really use them. So I just left them in there because I don't want to lose them in an empty box that used to belong to my mother. I think she kept her brushes in it or something. And then there's some extra random pieces of paper which I sometimes put in my sketchbook. And on this side, there are a couple of extra rags that I use to mop up paint or generally clean up. So that's the bottom tier. I suppose I could make better use of this and in fact I used to have some of my sketchbooks down here but I realized that because the wheels are quite small they don't really they don't really travel very well with weight in the bottom tier so I didn't put anything in there. On the next shelf are some brush pens. They have a brush on this end and a fine liner on that side. These are unbranded and they were a gift so I really don't know where they're from but there are 
quite a few colors and these are generally the pens that my niece or my friend's children use when they come over because they are quite cheap and I don't feel quite so bad about letting them use these pens. Next to it are my Pitt, um, Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pen Markers. These are in a variety of colors and it's a set of 90 that I got many, many years ago from Cass Art. Next to that are all my tubes of gouache. I just keep them here like this because they're easy to access whenever I need to add any more colors into my gouache palette, which is right here. You have seen this gouache palette in my um, video where I swatched all of my Winsor & Newton gouache colors. There are a couple new ones in here, but maybe I'll do an updated swatch page soon. Below that is just a sponge that I use and that's all that is in this shelf. These are all easy access things so that I can just reach down, pull out a pen and use it. Now the important part is this top shelf here. This has everything that I use all the time, easy access and I don't think I'll change very much of it. Now let me take you through this one at a time. This bottle is usually over here, but because if this bottle is here, you can't see anything, I've temporarily moved it over there. Now, this top section has, like I said, all the tools that I use on an everyday basis. Some of them I use less often, some of them I use more often. In the corner here, I have a couple of things like this Neopaque extender, some gold size paint, and my trusty bleed proof white. These are things that I don't use that often so they're tucked away in the corner here. Remember that's the side that goes towards my table and this is the side that faces out. Next to that I have my glass full of colored pencils. Conveniently next to it is my mechanical sharpener. As you can see it's got two different sizes and I will link all of these, um, I'll link to my blog post in which they're all of these things are linked. Right next to that tucked away are my two little brush rests that I made in my sculpt video. I think there's two of them. Like I said, I'll link them for you. But here are my two little brush rests that I use pretty regularly and that's why they're down here. They are also a little bit further away from the water just in case that leaks onto this. Now, coming around to this side, here is a jug of water. It also says I am not weird, I am limited edition. I got those, the one at the bottom and this one at the same time about six or seven years ago. Can't really remember where, but it was probably one of the high street stores. Here's another rag and all this is encased in this little box to keep it tidy so that the water doesn't topple over. Here is also the tape that I use to do a border in my sketchbook, just randomly chucked in there. <laughs> and then moving around to this side, I have this little a uh, holder thing with three three pots in it. I think it was originally for herbs and things, but this is what I use for it for. And I have some shot glasses in there to keep everything organized. Can you see there? So in this one, I've got a glue pen and a Sharpie, some of my brushes. And here I've got some more markers, the Uni Poscas, the brush pens, some Molotov markers, a um, <laughs> Sakura jelly roll, some more Uni Posca, the thinner ones, and a Pentel hybrid gel pen, as well as a Molotov mixed media paint marker, which I think is blocked and I need to get this sorted out. In the, I'm just gonna turn this around so it's easier for you to see now. In the third section, I have my Polychromos pencils, my China markers, and all that stuff. I, some of my markers have also found their way into here. I think I've just got the black and white, which I use fairly often, and my non-photo blue pencil, which as you can see is getting quite short. I will have to take a new one out fairly soon, I think. Then we come back to this corner where I have my nice spray bottle. This is a good substitute for an aerosol bottle because it has a continuous spray, which let me just quickly show you on here. When you spray it like that, you can just hold it down and just gives you a nice, even, continuous spray. 
and there's no aerosol which is great which is something I recently learned about which is why I have this Winsor & Newton professional fixative which I use on my gouache and my pencils but uh, once this is finished I do have a different fixative that comes in a spray bottle like this which I will then begin using. So that completes my little tour of my art cart. That, the middle and the top and the bottom sorry and now I'm going to show you my five favorite art materials. So now that you know what's in that art cart let me show you my top five favorite art materials to use. You would probably already have guessed the first one which is gouache. I have discovered gouache late in my career. I only discovered it about four or five years ago. Before that I used a lot of watercolor but I was always trying to make it opaque which is what gouache is. Gouache is opaque watercolor after all. So number one gouache and I have three brands here. One is Schmenke which I have just started to try. The second is Winsor & Newton which is the color that I is the sorry is the brand that I started first with and I still love it. I still love most of the colors and the third one is the Holbein gouache. Now this is something that I've started buying more colors off and I really really love it. Now you would already have seen as I've mentioned my gouache swatching video in which I swatch all the colors in this palette with the exception of the new Horodam and Schmincke gouache which I just got a few days ago. So I will link that for you up or whatever it links up here and down in the description box below as well. Number two is the medium that I use the most in combination with gouache which is pencils. Not just any pencils though, these are Polychromos pencils by Faber-Castell and they are wax based pencils, they do not smudge very much and I just love them. They create texture for me, they create a sense of depth, I can add finer detail once I've done a base gouache layer and I can also work with them by themselves. So that is my number two top favorite art material. Number three is something that works well with both gouache and the pencil and it is a fixative. Currently I'm using this Winsor & Newton professional fixative but I don't like that it's in an aerosol can and I do need to have really good ventilation when I'm using it because it definitely has a chemical smell and because I have a dog and I have health issues I don't really want to use this indoors. Now I have ordered Spectrafix fixative which comes in a um, constant spray bottle like this rather than an aerosol and it is also apparently more eco-friendly than this stuff. So when that comes in I will review it and let you know how it goes but for now this is my best friend because once I've done a layer of gouache I spray this over and voila it does not come off as much as it would if I were to go over it with wet gouache without spraying the fixative. Now I can also spray it on top of the pencils once I've used them on the gouache. It does a good job of fixing them and it becomes smudge proof. I also use this in my sketchbook when I'm just drawing with pencil so that I can spray the page and it doesn't transfer over onto the other side. So an extremely useful thing but something that I'm making the switch out to a more eco-friendly product as soon as I possibly can. I really wish I'd found out that aerosols are harmful <laughs> sooner. But well, you live and you learn and you can always just get better and better and better as long as you don't go backwards. Anyway, next, number four has to be, <laughs> how do I apply the gouache? I apply it with brushes. And my favorite brand of brushes has to be Dallarani. These are all Dallarani brushes and the favorite out of them has to be the angle shader. It is the most versatile brush. Let me see if I can get you a closer view of it. There we go. It is the most versatile brush. It create it covers large areas. It creates sharp lines with one end, but you can also use it for curves and for filling in. It has a very convenient length. I don't like brushes that are overly long because I just find that they're annoying. Sometimes if I'm filming, they'll hit the camera. It's just, mm, it's no, it's a no for me. But this one is the quarter inch angle shader and it's the brush that I use the most often. I've also taken out some more Dallarani brushes. These are the ones that I use, the synthetic, because that's the best for gouache. And 
um, they're the more, ones I use the most often. The angle shader obviously is my top, is my number four in the list of top five favorite art materials, but these are a close second. So there's a um, quote, I think there's a half inch flat brush, quarter inch flat brush, thin round, and an even thinner round brush. So those are my number four. Then my number five on the list, um, I should probably say that these are not in any particular order. These are just the five things that I use most often and that are my favorite things to use. Number five is a combination of two things. They are both white pens. One is a Sakura Jelly Roll and the other one is a Pentel Hybrid Gel Grip Pen. I use these both interchangeably, which is why I've chosen two things for the number five um, in my favorites but they basically do the same job. They create a nice white line on top of gouache when I need them to. They also work relatively well. I say relatively, not perfectly. They work relatively well on areas where I've used the polychromos pencils, which I find that the um, Posca pens sometimes do not, which is why I rate these higher than the Posca pens, which I also use. I love them, but they love these more. Anyway, so that's my top five. Number one, gouache. Number two, polychromos pencils. Number three, fixative. Number four, angle shader brush from Dallarani. Number five, white pens. Again, everyone I hope you enjoyed that tour of my little art cart and my top five art materials please do tell me your top five art materials down in the comments below if there's something new in there that I haven't used before I would love to do a little test run and maybe do a video on that my next video will be a studio vlog in two weeks time it's usually on a Thursday or Friday just check my channel and you'll know when the premiere will happen thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye